When the Soviets launched Sputnik 1 in 1957, the first artificial satellite, the world was stunned. For Americans, it was a blow to national pride and a reminder that their rival was pulling ahead. At that time, space projects in the United States were managed not by NASA, since NASA had not yet been established, but by the US military. Rockets were still primitive. Small vehicles like the Aero B3, only eight meters tall, carried mice and monkeys to altitudes of around 60 kilometers. These animals experienced short bursts of weightlessness then returned to Earth. They often looked bewildered, but most survived without serious harm. Why monkeys? Because their physiology resembled ours. If a monkey could survive acceleration, weightlessness and re-entry, then perhaps a human could too. In 1959, two monkeys, Miss Abel and Miss Baker, were launched aboard a Jupiter rocket, reaching an altitude of 570 kilometers and speeds of 16,000 kilometers per hour. The mission was a technical success, but tragedy struck when Abel died a few days later from surgical complications. Baker lived and was honored as a pioneer of biological spaceflight. Even today, visitors still place bananas on 